So guys, we did the toe hold and the knee bar, countering the underhook, right? How do we approach when there's no underhook? How do we attack? He tries to get the underhook, I keep my elbows tight and push him back down. I will not allow him to get close. How can I get the heel hook from here and submit it? He goes for the underhook. I deny him access. Look at my hand. Look at the movement of my hand. Circling in behind his knee, I sit back, my leg crosses over and places on my opponent's hip, and with a firm grip on the heel, I finish with the heel hook. Again, he will try to climb up to get an underhook, and I won't let him have it. Push him back, when I push, I will move my knee forward, I move my left knee forward, my right hand reaches behind his knee. I turn to my side, passing my right leg over, with the foot blocking his hips. I squeeze my legs to keep the lock on his knees, right? Now I secure his heel. I lock it by placing my forearm, cable gripping with both hands, closing any gap with pressure, okay? The combined pressure is very important. Why is that? When you combine the pressure from my foot, my knee, and my elbow. When you join these three pressure points together, they become much more efficient than if I would put pressure on the heel directly. So that's why sometimes when people focus the pressure only on the foot, they lose the position. But when we use these three points of pressure all together, we can be effective in our submission, okay? It's not 100% perfect, but if you're going to use these three points pressure, your success rate will increase rapidly. Okay, 